वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु Sikhi has never been a religion, it's been a dharam. I want you to understand this word dharam. It means both righteousness, some people translate to mean religion. Sikh dharam is this. What is the duty of a Sikh? The word dharam means duty. Yeah? So, akha da dharam hai ga dekhna. Eyes da dharam is to see. Kan da dharam hai ga sunna. Yeah? Eyes, ears are here to hear. Sikh da dharam hai ga. What is a Sikh dharam? Follow the Guru. That's it. Sikhi could be condensed to these three words. Follow the Guru. Bhai Gurdashi asked the same thing. Gursikhi da karam eho. What is a Sikh's actions? What does a Sikh do? What is Sikhi? He says, Guru purmai, Gursikh karna. Guru orders, the Sikh does. That's Sikhi, simple. Guru says, we say hanji. And we do it. Simple, isn't it? If you want to simplify Sikhi, that's what it comes down to. So, Sikhi became a religion probably when the Christians came to India. Yeah, most likely. They said, you've got a religion, you've got a religion, Hindus are this. By the way, Hinduism is not a religion. If you look at it under any definition of religion, it's nowhere close to a religion. It's many, many religions in one spiritual tradition or one cultural tradition, not even a spiritual tradition, but many spiritual traditions within. Sikhi could be Dharam because it's like a one path. You know, Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, that's but you can't classify Hinduism in that way. Because you look at the difference between a, 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 you know, a Devi worshipper uh, who is uh, you know, Pujari with, with the Kapri and everything, compared to the Agori Sadhu living in the Shamshan Kart where they have dead bodies and eating out of the brains and drinking alcohol. They don't have the same Taram. They don't have anything similar. They don't even read the same books. How can they be part of the same religion? It's, very, it's, not, it's not a religion. It's a, Sikhi could be called a religion, but I reckon most of this stuff happened when we were forced to categorize ourselves under the British. Yeah? And we often define ourselves by what we're not now. And I think the Sikhs nowadays have this um, Hindu phobia. You know, it's like walking around all the time like, a Hindu, a Hindu, a Hindu. We don't even want to do anything nowadays because we're scared that it might be Hinduism. It's like, can't gonna go around Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Oh, I don't know, why are we going to Parakarma of Guru Granth Sahib Ji? Must be Hinduism. <laughs> we don't understand something. We just say it must be Hinduism. We just want to throw it out the window. It's called throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Guru Sahib is saying, ki, when you come to, come to see me, go around me three times. Guru Gobind Singh has a conversation by Nanlal, and they say, when you see Guru Gan Sahib, you go around three times. We do it once because the Akata Ratmanadda says you must do it once at the very minimum. And we're like, oh, I don't know. Sounds like Hinduism to me. Yeah? Some people start to do Anandakar. Anandakar is now, they're standing up, they want to do Anandakar, standing up. They don't want to go around Guru Gan Sahib. Ji. Read the Shabbat before Anandakar. Is. In Guru Granth Sahib Ji, often you get a precursor to a Shabad. Yeah, where the Shabad is in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, just before it, it says why the, why the Anandakar comes there. <coughs> Guru Ram Das says, it's time to get married. The Guru is a father, decides that the bride's time has come to get married. The bride is the daughter, the Guru is the father, the bride is us. Mara says, let's get the marriage done ASAP. And they say, let's get the fairy done. Fairy means going around. So we have to go around. It says the word fairy at the front. Fairy only means going around. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything else. Yeah. So let's let's stop getting ourselves freaked out by words that we don't understand. Like people go Shiv Sena. Oh, Sena is not a Hin Sena is a Hindu word. Well, the first army of the Sikhs was called the Akal Sena. Guru Har Gobind Sahib's army at the Akal Takht was called the Akal Sena. So Sena is not a Hindu word. It's our word. There is no such religion as Hinduism. There's just the Indian cultural tradition. Yeah. And there's different words within that. Hanji. Okay. Sure, sure, go ahead. So you mentioned that you had colonial people. The word Hinduism did not exist before. Well, it's not in the Hindu scriptures, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
that, that's fine. The word guru comes up in Guru Nanak and the word peer comes up as well, which is not a, Hin- which is not a Hindu word. Uh, it's not Sanskrit. Just to take you up on that, when you say it's the way of life, it's many ways of life. It's not just one way of life. There's somebody called, there's, of the six ways of Hinduism, one doesn't believe in God. Some Kya doesn't believe there's a creator. So one part is atheist, one part is, you see what I'm trying to say? It's not a religion that has one core set of beliefs. It doesn't even have a set, core set of texts that you would say that these are the Hindu main texts. Because some people don't read those texts. So what we've got is, it's not, well, you can't apply the word religion to Hinduism, nor can you apply the word Snatam Taram, because that's something which is not, we don't understand the word Taram in the same way. Our Dharam is a duty, but Hinduism has many duties. The Dharam of a Brahmin is different from the Dharam of a Kshatri. The Dharam of a Kshatri is different from the Dharam of a Vash. And if you say the Sudra's Dharam, it's not the same. They've got four Dharams there, straight up. Duty of a Brahmin is different from the duty of a, a low caste person, yeah? So they're not, there's not one dharam. There's many dharams. So it, 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 I don't I take issue with that. Uh, and also when you say, it, there's, are you see only unity? I don't see unity. What I see is Gunan Dev Ji criticizing specific groups on their practices or talking about them. Not just criticizing, but talking about them. And when they talk about them, they talk about people that actually follow a tradition within, hin- within what you might want to call the cultural tradition of India. Hindu, yeah? So they might talk about the yogi, they might talk about the, the, the Brahmin, they might talk about the Pandit. They talk about these people. When they mean the word Hindu, they're not talking about Hindu. They're talking about the common Indian Banda. Common Indian person who generally goes to normal temples and you know, is stuck within the caste system. They talk about that person. They don't talk about Hindu as a Hinduism. Yeah? They just talk about the normal Indian person who is not following Sikhi. Yeah? Or following one of those main specific traditions within what you might call the Hindu culture. Okay? I, don't, I don't believe it's a religion. After a lot of thinking, 13 years, uh, that's, my, that's my thesis. That it's just a tradition and there's many different religions within it. And many different paths within it. And you can't call it a dharam because there's many dharams within it. So I don't know what it is. But I just call it tradition.